You know what I absolutely hate? Scammers. And I'm so tired of this happening to me. And if you're an artist, you can probably relate. I got a DM on Instagram today asking if my commission slots were open, which makes a lot of sense because I advertise my commissions on almost every platform that I'm on. This person reached out asking if I could paint a family portrait of themselves, their daughter, and their dog, which absolutely, I definitely can do that. When I let them know the cost, the price seemed to be not really any issue, and they asked if they could pay 50% up front and 50% at the end of the project, which I absolutely allow, so I said yes. They then asked me how the payment process worked, and I told them that I only accept payments through PayPal. There are a couple of reasons that I do this, the number one being that I, as an artist, need to protect myself from people trying to scam me. And also, too, it allows people to pay with their debit card and their credit card, and they don't have to have a PayPal account to pay. I also accept checks and money orders by mail, but I recognize that for a lot of people, the snail mail can take just a little bit too long, and they want that like instant gratification of the commission being created right away. This man tells me that he doesn't really want to pay through PayPal because he's had issues with them in the past, which I say is fine. And then he says, can I give you a check? And I say, absolutely, because yes, I accept that. This man then tells me that he needs my name, my email, and my bank in order to write me a check. For those of you who may be young whippersnappers out there who have never written a check before, you never need to give anybody that information if they're going to write you a check. My dad is a commercial photographer who does school photography for schools and accepts checks almost every time for every school that he's ever done. Not once has anyone ever needed that information. So I immediately called this guy out as a scammer. He then, his second resort was to then try and ask me for my credit card information so he could then deposit money into my bank account via my credit card. And I was like, my guy, that's worse. So I then doubled down and told him that the only way that I would accept payment, as I said in the beginning, was via PayPal, check, or money order. This made him very angry. He then proceeded to call me illiterate and was very mad. And then I told him that he insulted an artist. He then said, sorry, I didn't insult you. And then I proceeded to say, honestly, like, if you're going to scam someone, maybe don't call them illiterate and then blocked them. I cannot even express how frustrating it is as an artist who is very poor. Like, I recognize I am broke all the time because I chose to do this as my full-time career. To be approached by someone and to feel that spark of excitement, that genuine like, oh my god, I'm gonna have money to buy my family Christmas gifts this year feeling in my body, only to be met with, nope, this is just another person scamming somebody on Instagram. If you are one of these people, you are literally the worst type of human. Congratulations, you're, you are literally the worst. So point being, treat artists well. And if you are an artist yourself, please don't fall for this kind of a scam. If anybody is asking you for bank account information or they just don't want to pay the way that you want to pay and then approach you with some kind of FOMO, like, why won't you accept the payment now? Don't you want the commission? I'm going to go to somebody else. They're probably trying to scam you. If you do want to help me purchase gifts for my family this year, you know what to do. You can always commission me for work, but I also have an Etsy store that has loads of fun gifts, and I will be doing Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, so be sure to check those out. Scammers, guys. Just why?